Megan is a special mixed traffic engine who is very useful indeed, but sometimes she can get misled by others, which results into trouble. However, Megan tries to keep a positive moral no matter what. It was a sunny afternoon on the West London Railway, and all the engines were ready to go off with their trains. Just then, Eric came into the big station. He hoped no one would notice him, but I'm afraid everyone did. Eric noticed that everyone was smiling at him, so he decided to break the awkward silence. What are you guys looking at? Your facial expression is priceless. What happened to you? Did you actually break down on the main line, or having trouble sleeping in a tent again? I suppose. No. The reason why I'm frustrated is because of there is workmen working on that bridge. Is there a problem with that? Not exactly. It's just that it's such a hassle being late, and it has nothing to do with you guys. You see, I was making good time yesterday with my train. Then all of a sudden. I had to take a detour because of that construction going on. It made me 15 minutes late. Right, I see your point, Eric. It's only a matter of fate until a tender engine will go on that bridge. I think we should prove Mr. Newton wrong. Megan, who was silent the whole entire time, was beside herself. I don't know what I should do now. The conductor blew the whistle, and Megan was off. Megan continued on down the line. Megan came to a stop when she came to the detour. Driver, please move those crates. Are you crazy, Megan? Do you know what would happen if we go up on that bridge? I know, but I just have that feeling that we might just make it over that bridge. But Mr. Newton says. But I don't care what Mr. Newton says. Now remove these crates. I'm going to make it over that bridge. Megan's driver did so, and they were soon setting off on a dangerous bit of track. Eventually, Ernest came to the scene of disaster with some workmen and Mr. Newton. Ernest felt sorry for Megan.
but he couldn't help chuckling. Oh dear, Megan, looks like you've got yourself into this predicament. I just thought about the last time you took the advice from American Johnny. Don't remind me. Ugh, I guess it was a twist of fate after all. I am very displeased with you, Megan. I thought you would have been a little bit more useful not to listen to Eric and Johnny. However, I guess things never change. You listen to somebody, and then look, there is an accident. So, Megan, once you were repaired for a week, you and those two will be stuck in the sheds. But Megan was furious with Eric and Johnny. This is the last time I ever listen to them again. Next time, they can tell their advices to the other engines.